Hey everybody, Chris Farad here. Welcome back to Bioshock Infinite. And, uh, I mean, I kind of left a little cliffhanger last episode. My bad. I meant to do it, but my bad. <laughs> so, uh, let's open this Terra and see what's really going on. Okay, open it. Whoa. Look. There's no blood. And no body. It's another world, Booker. Another Columbia. Something tells me one dead gunsmith ain't the only thing that's changed. Yeah, you can hear, like, riding and all sorts of stuff. So we need to go back to the gunsmith's shop. I'm gonna, yeah, I'll rock this repeater for a bit here. I guess the jail cells are probably full. That's probably what we're hearing. And I bet you that other section is now open as well. Yeah, check this out. Oh, this is the Vox Populi in here. I think. Who's that? Huh. Oh, this should be pretty bizarre. Look at this. Okay, still a dead guy in here. And he's still here. So that's interesting. Hey, this is the couple. I'm pretty sure. Daisy Fitzroy. Come on, you piece of horseshit. Tell me about Daisy. Cut him loose. What? Scarfield says cut him loose. They're bringing his tools to the lockup. They'll keep him clean, I guess. Why? What are you? The Columbia Gazette? The chink's wife got friends in high places. Come on. We need to sell. I have no clue what's going on. I don't understand how Chen Lin is alive now. We're in a world where he was never murdered. Somewhere we'll find out why, I suppose. I don't suspect you can change something like that and have everything else remain the same. Yeah, so I was kind of hypothesizing earlier that, uh... Yeah, see, all the Vox Populi have been caught in this situation. That we're in, like, an alternate reality where you have, like, two branching paths, and I think... I think that may be correct. But again, uh, I have no idea. These men... I killed them. They were dead. Not in this world. <laughs> I'm disgusted. Look their noses. They're... They're all bleeding. What the hell? Did, did, I, 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 why am I still here? What's wrong with them? They remember. Remember what? Being dead. Uh, okay. Brain is officially in meltdown mode. Stop oh! Okay, hold on. Let me let me get this the way I want it. Go crows, go. I'm gonna rock some fire on him. Thanks. Let's go, shields. In the other world? Oh. This whole business makes my head hurt. The guy that we just killed, I guess, he was the one that was, uh, that was hanging. 
that I shot at, I think. Oops. No. And like some things have been... No, everything that we took before is still gone, I think. So we're in a different... We're in like a different world, but... Some things are still the same. And like those people that we killed earlier... She's saying that they knew they were dead. And their noses are bleeding and... Exactly what's going on here. Gunsmith set free. What? All charges dropped for Chen Lin. What could have led to this reversal? Is that his wife? His brother-in-law, Fink's head of security. Oh. That's interesting. Yeah, there was a guy hanging right here. Man, uh... <laughs> Don't really know what to think right now. I'm not gonna lie. Thoroughly confused. The hyena is a trickster. They live to stir up trouble. So you beware the hyena. They will leave you with none but the sound of their laughter. These guys still want to throw down, apparently. Oh, that was a bad trap. Whoa! We gotta get that guy, because that's pretty intense. Salt's here! Need this? Much obliged! Let's go. Oh. I haven't seen that for a while. Feels good, man. Whoa. This is not good. Uh oh. Oh. Whoa. Oh, that's how it works. Some folks just oh, are sweet. Okay. Place here at Fink Industries. But so actually, in a way, I'm kind of glad that happened. So, I can... so she actually brings us back. Lose some money and whatever, but that's cool. Like they are just, there's tons of them. Did I not get that? There we go. Oh, I can't actually shoot it while it's on my side.
Let's wait till it comes back. There we go. Okay, now we need to head back into the gun shop here. Go time. Hard to believe a Chinaman. Oh, okay. Do you hear anything? Huh? No machines. No tools. Let's go find that gunsmith. Maybe he's upstairs now. But oh, look, look at this. The shrine. It's a figure of Comstock now. What the hell? Here he is. He's working on something imaginary. Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Excuse me, Chen Lin? Who are you? You speak up! Speak up! Can't hear you over all these machines! Very loud! I'm Booker DeWitt. Stand back! These machines very dangerous. Wait downstairs with Mrs. Lin. Uh, Daisy Fitzroy sent us. We need to talk to you about getting some weapons. Machines! Very dangerous. No place for stupid people. Want to lose pretty head? Mr. Lin. Downstairs. What is wrong with him? Remember him dead in that cell? Maybe in, in some way he remembers that too. How would you reconcile that? I don't know. Yeah, he's got the bleeding thing happening too, so. Kill my husband? Calm his troubled thoughts. Ease what? his burden. Now she's not Asian either. Bring Chen Lin back to me. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Mrs. Lin. I'm Mrs. Lin. No, I, I mean a little <clears throat> Chinese lady. She was. Booker. This is Mrs. Lin. <laughs> they took Chen's tools. What's he got without his tools? Well, your husband is a bit out of sorts. If he could work again, maybe. <laughs> If, if he could work, he'd... Mrs. Lin, can you tell me who took your husband's tools? Goddamn police. They took them and locked them up in the impound in Shantytown. Guess we're going to get those tools. That's the place that was blocked off before. His mind? Who cares? We're not getting any guns if Chen Lin doesn't have his tools. Let's head to Shantytown. Because we went in there before it was blocked off by the, uh, the tram cars or what have did you. Did you notice? Lin had a bloody nose. I did. Seems to be in style. This terror. I'm not so sure it was a good idea. Do you know what Daisy Fitzroy So it's not a full-blown ultimate reality, it's like... Something else. Okay, yeah, here, so... Alright, I've got a few bucks too, so... Uh, Devil's Kiss boost increases damage. Bronco aid adds ability to chain floating effect from one enemy to the other. I'm gonna definitely use that. And then, I'm also gonna do Devil's Kiss, because I can afford it. And it's 666, that's pretty awesome. Good little... Little, I don't know what you call that. Well, it's not a coincidence, but you know. What? My finger. Uh, yes, finally. Inside. It's all right. It's as much a mystery to me as anyone else. Maybe Songbird knows, but he's not talking. <sighs> I'm sorry. What for? I get to wear this stylish thimble to cover up my hideous deformity. <laughs> I hear they're all the rage in Paris. Okay, so she doesn't know either. What the? Come on, people. Give me something. Ooh. There. All right. <gasps> Oh, I'll take that. Okay. Uh, I guess we're gonna go here. Oh, I didn't want to do that one. <laughs> Let's go, Broncos. Yeah. 
Merci. I'm digging the fucking Bronco. That's so cool. That is an unfortunate way to fall and die. Is there still somebody down here that that thing is shooting at? Oh, there we go. Elizabeth, she's just getting used to all this death around her, hey? Oh, hello. What is that? What's that? <laughs> Book her a lockpick. Grab it. Where? Oh. I'm going to drop this repeater and pick up this hand cannon again. How do we open this? Any ideas here, Elizabeth? Um, I'm not sure. Okay, well, we'll probably have to come back. Let's get rocking. Elizabeth's got a real feeling for the folks in Shantytown. Feelings like enough to get her killed. Uh oh. You must think me some sort of freak. A girl who can bring dead men back to life. Whose only acquaintance is a, a giant bird creature. It must seem ridiculous. You just got dealt a bad hand. I am not going back to that tower, no matter what happens. They won't stop until they have you. Why? What did I do to them? You frightened them. Good. Oh, getting a little bit ragey. Oh, look at this. This is the real slums. To keep you so hungry, you can't speak much of me. To keep you so ignorant. You can't think of solutions to all your problems. To keep you chasing that almighty silver eagle so you can buy everything they're selling to keep you down, brothers. But Daisy Fitzroy says there's another way. Another way coming real soon. So these guys are pretty into Daisy Fitzroy, obviously. Oh, gross. People are like this because of Fink. Maybe Daisy's right. Maybe she should pay him back for all of this. Not before she pays us. We're here for guns and then the airship. Can't solve everyone's problems, Lizzie. <laughs> back it up, Skell. <laughs> no, no, What's going on over here? I kind of want back there. Thiefing, back. Whoa! I didn't do that. I wasn't gonna go. I'm trying to be good. I guess that's not happening. I'll take it. Perfect. Man, that was not my intention there. Look at all this. Come on, hurry up! Hit it! I hit it harder! Over there! Hit it harder! I'm barely making a goddamn dent! Do it! Sure Here. Thing. Eat the food there, people. Out of my way! There's plenty to share.
Elizabeth, back up here for a second. This. Thanks. Look at this, all the little kids and everything. This is like straight up depressing. Sorry guys. You're coming at me, I gotta defend myself. Oh, what is this over here? Repeater ammo. Alright, we got another door here we can check out. Welcome to the graveyard shift. Probably gonna get pissed at me for turning that off. Is this guy gonna get mad if I go back there and take those salts? I don't think I need him that bad. <laughs> Let's go into his back room here. Ooh, hello. You okay? Kid's scared. A guitar. Wish I knew how to play. I oh, I might. Some of the gloom. 